Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we finished with the creation of Adobe form. Now, we need to call the Adobe form or PDF form from our program, from our sales order report we need to integrate that Adobe form or PDF form into our report. Whenever we will run the program, suppose if I will activate this program, whenever user will run the program and click on to this button now. Now we will click on to this button the output will display in PDF form or Adobe form. Same thing which is applicable in case of smart form also. We cannot call a Adobe form directly into the program. We can call a Adobe form or PDF form through the function module of the Adobe form or PDF form. Same thing is applicable in case of smart forms also. Now, whenever we want to call a Adobe form, yes, through the program, we all know and it is fully explained in the Adobe form playlist also. We will make use of three function modules. What are those three function modules? fp underscore job underscore open with the help of this function module we will open the job first after that we will use this function module fp underscore function underscore module underscore name with the help of this function module we will pass the adobe form or pdf form it will return the function module of the PDF form or Adobe form. You can simply compare in case of smart form. We have the function module name is SSF underscore function underscore module underscore name. Now just SSF word is replaced by FP. FP. After that, we need to close the job. So whenever you are calling the Adobe form or PDF form from the program, we will make use of these three function modules. Now I will go to the program. We will call these three function modules and we will check the expected output after that. So whenever user will click on to this button, we all know user is giving a command. So which particular subroutine will call? User command subroutine will call. And there we will write the logic. Now, previously we put the logic in the if condition of smart forms. Whenever user clicked on to the first button, the value of this variable is smart forms. Now, whenever user will click on to that second button, the value of this variable is Adobe form. And you all know very well, this Adobe forms, we gave the function code to the button. If I will go to the function code of the button, I'm going to PF status. You can see we gave the function code of the button is Adobe Forms. Now we will write the logic. So firstly, we will call the first function module. With the help of first function module, we will open the job first. So I will go to pattern button. And what is the first function module? FP underscore job underscore open. I will press enter. Now I will simply, simply give some parameter name in front of IE underscore output params. So suppose I will say LWA underscore output params. 
now what will be the type of LWA underscore output params? It will be same as that of IE underscore output params. Here it is the part of changing. So I will double click on the function module. I will go for yes. I will go to changing. IE underscore output params is of this type. And I will declare in my program. I will declare into this subroutine itself because these all things are local to this subroutine. LWA underscore output params. Type. Now, this is a structure type. If I will double click, it is a structure type and these are the columns in the structure. That's why this is a work area. I'll check the syntax up to this level. Now, never, never forget to uncomment the exceptions. Now, now I will move on to next part. Firstly, I opened the job. Now we will call the Adobe form. Then we will close the job. You all know very well. Yes, you cannot call a Adobe form or PDF form directly. You can call a Adobe form or PDF form through the function module of the Adobe form or PDF form. So what I will do. Firstly, I will run this Adobe form or PDF form, which we created. I will run. This is the function module of the Adobe form or PDF form. I will copy this name. While copying, just take care because many times people will copy the half of the name and that's why system will say unknown. But the best way you can do specially for this we have a button here. Just enable quick cut and paste. In my system, it is unable. So whenever you will enable, the chances of copying, the chances of mistake while copying is very less. Suppose whenever I will do this, it is copy now. So I only, only need to paste. So I will go to pattern. I will pass the function module. and. Now, most important understanding, which is in the smart form also we covered. When we created the interface of the Adobe form or PDF form, I will save up to this level. When we created the interface of the Adobe form or PDF form, if I will go to interface. At that time, we took four input parameters. Have you seen those four are coming as export here? In the interface of Adobe form or PDF form, all are import. Here it is coming as export and this is always, always our understanding. Now I will pass the various input. Now in front of this parameter, I will pass the low value of the you, we all know this is the low value of the date. Now here I will give the high value of the date. Now I will give the username. The username is this s underscore er num hyphen low. Now what is our item data internal table name? LT underscore file. Same to same process we are following and these are always golden rules for our understanding. Never, never forget to uncomment the exceptions. Now, again, again, golden rule. Yes, this function module generated at the runtime, generated at the runtime. So whenever this program will go to quality and production, it may throw the runtime error because 
this function module will change. It might change in the quality and production. Suppose here it is 50 in the quality. It might be 200 at the last in production. It might be 300 at the last. So what is the solution for the same? Same thing we did in smart forms also. SAP provided a function module with the help of this function module. We will get the function module of the PDF form or Adobe form. We will not hard code this number because this number change might might change in quality and production and our program will not work. So what we will use now we will use the function module fp underscore function underscore module underscore name. I will go to pattern button. Now I will give fp underscore function underscore module underscore name. Now we will pass our Adobe form or PDF form. It will return the function module of the Adobe form or PDF form. So we will pass the name of our Adobe form or PDF form. This is our PDF form or Adobe form. This is what we created. So I will just pass. Now I will uncomment importing. I'm passing from right to left while returning it will return from left to right and i will declare one variable which will return the function module of the adobe form or pdf form we all know the type of lv underscore func name is same as that of e underscore func name here it is importing it means in the function module, it will be the part of exporting. So I will double click. I will go to export. E underscore FUNC name is of this type. So I will copy and declare in my program. I will write data LV underscore FUNC name type this. This is a data element. This is a data element. Now I will check the syntax up to this level. Now we pass the Adobe form. It returned the function module of the Adobe form or PDF form. It means our function module is in this variable, is in this variable. So rather than hard coding, I will pass this variable, this variable. Do not put the variable name in single quotes because it is a variable variable. So now I will check the syntax. So our second part is also done. We open the job first. We call the function module. We call the Adobe form or PDF form through the function module of the Adobe form or PDF form. Now, what is third function module? We need to close the job now. So I will go to pattern and now I will pass FP underscore job underscore close because if we open the job, we have to close the job also. Now, I will simply uncomment the exceptions. That is always the best practice. I will uncomment this importing and I will declare one variable in front of E underscore result. We all know that type of LV underscore result is same as that of E underscore result. Here it is importing, it means in the function module, it will be the part of exporting. I will copy that type 
and I will declare in my program. I will write data LV underscore result type this particular I will check the syntax and I will activate the program. I will double click. Okay, is, is this a structure? So I will not declare as LV. I will declare as LWA. I can give any name, but as a programmer or as a ABAP consultant, we should always follow the best practices. It is, a, it is of structure type. So I have to treat this as a work area. So I will go for LWA as the naming convention. I will check the syntax and I will activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the calling of Adobe form or PDF form from our program. And we all know very, very well, we cannot call the layouts directly. We should always, always call through the function module of those layout. Same thing is applicable for smart form also. Same thing is applicable for Adobe form also. So we used three function module. With the help of FP job open, we firstly open the job. After that, yes, we simply use this function module fp underscore function underscore module underscore name to get the function module of our Adobe form or PDF form. And whatever the function module we got from this function module, with the help of that, we called our Adobe form or PDF form. And in the third step, we close the job. And same to same understanding, yes, Every Adobe form or PDF form also generates a function module, but that is dynamic in nature. It generates at the runtime. So never hard code, use this function module to get the function module of the Adobe form or PDF form. In the next video, we will check the output in the debugging mode and we will proceed with the next steps. So that's it in this video. Thank you.